heading to Venice. I'm in the train's bathroom to quickly say hi. Um, we've been on the train for hours now. It's like a five-ish hour train, I want to say, from Naples. But it's been really comfortable, great. It's a high-speed train, so it's going about 200 to 250 kilometers an hour. And we should be there in about an hour. Okay, so we had to go down this dark alley over there. This looks sketchy until you see how everything else looks. And then we just have this little bud. <laughs> the vibe is very intense. TV. That's nice. And then we just have a mini kitchen in this one. We don't actually have a <laughs> full kitchen. We have a second bed, and then I don't know what this piece of decor is. It's a very odd choice. Hello, sir. <laughs> <I'm> tired. <laughs> Been on the train all day. Shower looks like the nicest one we've probably had so far, and then this, <laughs> this color choice. But we're here. I've been given the crumbs here. We found a place for pasta that actually has a very big menu. And then this looks really fun behind us. We don't know what's going on there, but it's kind of giving me FOMO. Just a small beer. <laughs> it is good. just about 11 to be quite honest. We're having a little bit of a slow morning um, because it's our most comfortable room we've had so far, even though it's not like the most like intense, it's like the most comfy, cozy, um, the nicest bathroom. I'm really tired, um, but we're gonna head out. We got a good sleep, we're a little slow moving. It's supposed to be a little cooler here than other places, so I put on this little shirt this is like not how I dreamed of styling it, but whatever. I have a tank top underneath in case I get hot and then just some like Bermuda shorts. We're going with it. I've also given up on makeup at this part of the trip, so it's looking a little more intense on camera than it did to me. I don't know what this is. I get freckles, so there's a lot. But that mask last night, oh. You can't quite tell because I have all this like lotion on. Then skin would be a better example. It made it look just like blurred and like so beautiful. And I'm gonna try to see if the price is better here for that or back home, because you can definitely buy a bin back home.
Theater. A look at the sign. It's beautiful. It's all little stores and now we've got... It's like we're in the mall. Oh, look at these fruits. I thought it would be cooler here, but I don't think we're finding it that much cooler, but there's just a lot more shade. But it's just so beautiful. And very easy to get lost. to the very point and now I'm going to try to take this gondola taxi back over. Better look at the skin. We found the very fancy district. Ooh, these look nice. Take that coat. And you walk out into this. So you go buy all your Chanel and you come wear it in this area. We also found the $2 gondola taxi. So we did our first gondola just across from one side to the other because we had gone too far. Okay, we're just getting ready. This is what I have on. I might have to change my shoes for walking but we're gonna go try to get on a gondola this evening and then go get some food. We had a little bit of a nap, but it's still only like 5 p.m., so lots of time. square now we never know where we are the sun's starting to set i filmed a whole video about the canal but i didn't hit record it was really fun we did some of the small canals and then into the big one we just picked like a random one we saw on the side of the road so i'm not sure if it was like the same route or different or whatever and now we're just wandering around it's really warm out still we ate just a couple of hours ago so we're not like super hungry i don't really feel like having a ton of drinks right now either because i'll just get really tired so we're just kind of wandering until we feel like hungry or thirsty and then we'll probably have another chill night again and it's been really nice to just like relax here. It's very cute, feels very safe here compared to even like Rome and Naples and everybody's just out, like kids are running around, everybody's just hanging out in all the squares um, and it's just really nice. morning it is day two well we've oh it's so dark hi it is day two here in venice we have a full day again today we don't have anything planned we were maybe gonna go over to Murano island um but i think we want to just wander so what we're gonna do is go over to the big church um saint marco and then we're gonna both kind of do free time on our own for a little while. I'm gonna go do some shopping. Ben's gonna go look for like some seafood. And then we're gonna meet back up and like probably get lunch and like figure out where we're at. But I've basically given up on clothing at this point. Everything I own is disgusting. So I just have on this and these. And we're just gonna go with it. The hair is. The like perfect weather today. Ben and I have joked that we should just give one of the other people a head start and then just try to find each other in the city.
I've reached the point where I'm just in full tourist mode. I don't even care. I haven't blended in for one day with this little <laughs> We have stopped for soup because we still haven't had soup yet. Oh yeah, look at that. Plus your rating out of five. Four, sure. Four? I think I'd do a three, but yeah. Very fresh. This was different from like Napoli style and a little different from Roman too. But it's not bad. I'd like a little more sauce though. Okay, we've parted ways so that I can look at the shops without kind of dragging him along and then can go find some seafood. Not the color for me. I tried these on the Malfi Coast on like a food tour and forgot to buy them and I just found them, yay! It's randomly so many Burger Kings everywhere. I'm trying to get away from like the super touristy because there was better shops on the other side, but it's very busy. Okay, now, yep, not this way. So not right. There's like this vintage store that's supposed to be really, really good. And I'm gonna go try to find it, but I went the exact opposite way. So a little bit of a march ahead. But like, can't complain. having a little wander by myself I feel like I can like absorb more because otherwise we're kind of like watching for each other so I recommend even if you're traveling with someone take a little time to yourself go for a little walk enjoy it with, you know yourself This had a lot of designer, really good prices. I did a bad thing and bought a coat. Don't ask me how I'm getting that back to Canada. It was 30 euros, so it was like 45 bucks. It's a wool coat, so nice. I don't know. I feel like I'm doing a walk of shame with my giant bag, but it's a beautiful coat. We brought a little duffel bag because we actually paid for checked baggage each way. We didn't use one on the way here because we just brought like our little bags. So far everything's fit but I think I may need to bust out the little duffel now. We just have one that's like collapsible and it's okay. We bought some breakable things too so the plan was always like put your clothes in the little duffel for the way back and then you can kind of like watch the more fragile things. But anyway I'm gonna go home, drop this little bag off so I can figure out how to get there. Uh, check it on Ben. This is not, <laughs> this cannot be right. I don't know. It's such a maze here. I didn't expect that. And it's so much bigger than I thought too. It's very hard to figure out your way around. Anyway, the only other thing I was thinking of buying is I bought this beautiful cashmere blue scarf and I was thinking of buying it in this pistachio green. So that's the only other thing on the list. But otherwise, we've got a couple more days. And then we're heading back home. It's probably for the best for my bank account, honestly. Hello! <laughs> this is our tunnel. Then it opens up into the square. And we're right in there. Show me the steps. Oh, wow. I got a 19th out. Oh, it was yesterday. Yeah, wait. It's like all time. It's like the last week. Hmm. So we got one eleven thousand today. 
also over the last week though. Oh, yeah. Hello! You? Hey, sweetie. Beauty. Hmm? Beautiful colors. You love to have a poof tail. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. There's friends at our door. Heading out for our last eve here in Venice. We don't really have a plan. Again, we're just gonna wander till we're hungry. And Ben also found a place that we might be able to get some sangrias. We might go there too. It's hard to want to leave our new friend. Oh, what you found? <laughs> Just mm -hmm. Ciao. Yeah, what has he got in there? Ciao, please. Oh. <laughs> Ciao. That almost doesn't fit in some parts of Venice. <laughs> reached the point where we're just like running out of steam but I did go get the Fendi shirt once again on a dinner hunt it's just like so busy everywhere teenage sweetie we're not quite hungry for dinner so we went to the fruit stand nearby. How freaking good. Okay, wait. Okay, I was trying to get my flash on. I can't do it. How good do they look? This <laughs> That is so funny. Uh, we're going to chill for a little bit because we're not quite hungry. It's also before 7, so like all the good stuff's not open yet. We're going to have some strawberries. We have a beer to share. And we've been watching Harry Potter 1, so we might watch a little bit more of that. But I got my little Fendi shirt. Um, it's quite cute. It's just a black, simple long sleeve. I'll show it to you later. Maybe, maybe in this vlog, maybe in the next one, I'll do like a whole Italy haul and just show everything I bought. Um, and we had a little April, and it was nice to walk around, but it's so crowded, honestly. We're here, it's middle October. It's the middle of October and it's still like bump and busy and hot everywhere you go. So we were hoping it would be like a little more quiet, more shoulder season. I'd almost say go in like November if you want that. They are perfect. Mm -hmm. It's our final meal and we've gone a little hard. Course number one. All right, number two. Let's see yours. Food pasta. <laughs> Review so far. We're in course two. Pasta. It was very good. Very full already. Too much bruschetta and a lot of seafood. Too much pasta. So the seafood was really good. Delicious. The ravioli is really good too. I'm getting a little full, but the bruschetta I thought was amazing. I don't know why we decided this was a good idea to end with. And then we make it dessert? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. I don't quite know what's going on with this one. We asked for sorbets. And it's this like drink. I don't know. It tastes like lemon, but like it's a totally different vibe. <laughs> We're getting ready to head out. Goodbye to our little spot. It ended up being such a perfect spot, perfect location. Um, even though it didn't have a kitchen, not a problem. Now we have like a few hours, I think four hours until our train. So we're gonna go try to drop our luggage off at the train station. I think there's lockers and then wander around. And if we can't drop it off, we'll just go park somewhere and get a coffee. We've given up on food and we're going for American pancakes. Just we're able to find a locker to pop our little bags into. We've gone for something a little different here. 
<laughs> Breakfast was actually really nice to have something different. Now we have like an hour and a half, so we're just wandering. It's kind of nice though, it's kind of cool today. Sorry that half this vlog is just a dirty screen with the camera lens. Heard people say they wanted like more or less time here. I think like a day and a half is honestly fine. And if I could pick, I'd go back to like the coast and do like beach days. Just starts to be a lot of like eating and shopping, which is good for a couple days. <laughs> After today, we're heading back to Rome for two more days, so that vlog will be out before this one, but that one will have had like a week break between the two chunks, and we're doing the Colosseum tomorrow. That's really the only plan. I think we're doing the Forum as well, so that'll be in that video. Venetian taxis. We never took one, but it looks like a very good way to travel. Two cappuccinos deep and it's been like two hours. We really have nothing else to do. <laughs> this is probably the quietest, less touristy area we've found. The best I can give you for a reference point. Still the same similar stuff to other places, but just not a thousand people to walk through. Really nice. These houses look really different than some of the other areas. 